Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests that have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so I have Lynette Oy on the line, and she's founder and CEO of Fire Talker PR. Lynette? Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. All right. So excited to have you here. And um, and when I saw kind of what you wanted to talk about today and your topic, I was like, oh, my gosh, Lynette must be in PR because he's an amazing writer. So the title of today's <laughs> topic, um, how to exit the no one knows me trap. And uh, I have my bias and I think it's a trap. And you obviously do because you wrote it. Um, so I'm excited to get into that and, and maybe some tips for the audience. But before we do that, I like to start this show the way we start them all with our Mission Matters Minute. So, Lynette, we at Mission Matters, we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. So that's our mission here. Lynette, what mission matters to you? At Fire Tucker PR, we want to inspire entrepreneurs and small business owners to step into their power and be the thought leaders they were born to be. And around that, it all begins with how we think about ourselves in business and how dedicated we are. We've all heard about the person that gets up at 5 a.m. and they're multi-gazillionaires. Well, the long and short of it is how we treat ourselves, not only personally but in business, has everything to do with how successful we are. And as part of that, it's not being afraid to be visible. So as part of our mission in inspiring others, we want to also encourage them through that to be all they can be by setting themselves up for success and getting the publicity they deserve to stand out and be the one in their industry that the media goes to. That's awesome. Um, love bringing mission-based entrepreneurs um, and executives and experts on the line to talk about, you know, why they do what they do in their mission. So awesome, and uh, thank you for sharing that. And uh, I guess just to um, just to go a step further there, um, um, at Fire, Tar- Fire Talker PR, you mentioned that you're helping individuals get visibility in organizations. Um, just to go a little bit further, like what types of individuals do you ter- type- typically work with, whether it's is it industry, are you industry agnostic, like what types of, um, of clients typically get the most value? out of working with you and your team? I work with established speakers and authors that are simply not getting what they need to grow their businesses into the seven figures they deserve. And I also work primarily with leaders that are small business owners, you know, leaders in the community, and they're just not getting the attention they deserve. They're not being sought out by their next client or the media. So it really centers around business leaders within entrepreneurialism and also within corporations, you know, that are small where leaders are also not being able to lead effectively based on the visibility that they're not getting. How does um, this visibility help these leaders kind of move into that next realm, I would argue, which is uh, thought leadership? Right. It's a big deal. It really is. When people think of visibility, they think of publicity. But in reality, you have to be visible before you can get publicity. 
So what I'm doing is I am teaching leaders what it is to build that visibility garden. I like to call that visibility platform something that you seed and nurture, like a beautiful garden. And then it, when it becomes so bountiful, not only your next client, but primarily for our purposes, the media can't ignore it. They just can't. No, that's great. And so obviously each person's going to be on their own journey and everybody has their own unique story and they have mm -hmm. their own, you know, different levels of visibility that they've already obtained through whatever it is. I mean, the old platform might have been, you know, you walk into a, a chamber of commerce meeting and everybody knows you. That was a sense of visibility once upon a time. Um, but now there's just so much more opportunity out there for someone to reach larger audiences and uh, more eyeballs, as people like to say, right? Um, so where do you find that a lot of um, of these, you know, successful entrepreneurs or these people that have all this this talent, this um, this great thing to offer to the world and this value to offer, and especially these authors that created books or they're in the middle of creating books, where do you find they typically go wrong a lot of times when kind of planning out their visibility? Well, the long and short of it is, like I had just mentioned, when you – I like to use the garden metaphor because it really helps people to wrap their head around – wrap their head around what a visibility garden really is. So when you start tilling the ground and you're putting things together, you're seeding, you're getting everything going, and you have to water the garden, you get the sprouts, etc. right? The same thing applies when we're preparing for visibility. And you're right. There was such a time when you could walk into a board meeting or walk into a chamber meeting and everyone knows who you are just by the simple act of being involved. But that's on a micro level and our world doesn't work on a micro level anymore. So when we're working on that visibility platform, it's like getting your house in order. There's another metaphor there. So you have to make sure that you have a media tab on your website or you can call it a press room, media room, press or media, dependent upon how detailed your tab is on your website. So for example, if you have about us, you might have media room, right? So that's as simple as it gets there. But the whole process is to provide a place where the media can go to learn more about you to find questions and answers for interviews, to find bios, short bios at 50, 100, and 300, and full-length bios. You need to have everything laid out with an online media kit. It's a whole process, which would take us about, oh, seven or eight hours to go through together if we were to sit here and go through every area. But that whole piece, of preparing that platform, that little, that beautiful garden that we want everyone to notice and not ignore is a big part of how you get out of those traps of not being noticed. Because the, the person that's out there in the industry that they serve that gets noticed, they're the ones that are being interviewed by the media, but they're also the ones that are not hard to learn about. They have that platform people can go to. That's awesome. So now let's say that – let's fast forward a bit and let's talk to maybe those that have a little bit of a platform and now they're maybe getting uh, getting some publicity. Like where do they go from there? So let's say, for example, a very successful person is interviewed on your show. And I'm going to safely assume that 98.999% of those that you interview are successful. And you send them the recording of their interview and any artwork that accompanies it, and, they, and you tell them, here's what you need to promote this interview. Many people will do absolutely nothing. Am I right? Um, I, I would imagine so. I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Because there's people that will post once, for example, and with your artwork, with the MP3 that's given to them, and they post, and, and maybe that's it. Or maybe they do nothing at all. And what happens is, one, they're certainly not doing you a service, and it's very, very important when we're interviewed, very important, as important as 
utilizing this amazing piece of publicity, which is what this is right now. This is for me, for example. This is great publicity once this uh, interview comes out. So not only am I doing the interviewer a tremendous disservice, and I'm doing myself a very large disservice as well. So what does that mean? We take that interview and we post it on not only our website, but all of our social media platforms. And we make sure to get it embedded, when I say on our websites, so that it's there forever. And we have the content to share with other members of the media. For example, if you're building a, por a portfolio, <laughs> swallowed on that word, for podcasting, then you want to show a plethora of interviews that you've been on especially if you're just starting out, and you want people to know, here's where I've been interviewed, these are the topics that I excel in, this is what my business is about, this is how I want to help change the world. Mm -hmm. So if we're not utilizing the publicity that we get, then it's like it's not even there. Another example is you're interviewed or quoted in the Wall Street Journal. Well, I can't tell you how many people I have worked with in my profession when I start asking them, so what have you done? What have we, what juicy nuggets do we have out there to share with the world, to share with other producers within the world of podcasting, to share with radio hosts, to share with television producers? What do we have? Do we have examples to show them uh, how brilliant you are? Well, often the answer is no. And the reason is, when they have been interviewed or they've had that Wall Street Journal quote or interview or New York Times or any of the others, and they've never showcased it by adding it to that media room and increasing their visibility so that there is no more trap of no one knows who I am, then it's all for naught. So if we don't showcase and tell the world that the world's talking about us, we're doing ourselves a tremendous disservice and that thought leadership slowly just dwindles away. Well said. I completely agree with that. And keeping that momentum up is, is so key and so vital because it's so hard to get, to get started. So then once you get a, once you get it going, you should definitely um, not let that go. Um, so first off, Lynette, it's been great having you on the show. A um, couple quick things. So um, um, last question. So I know that you are offering um, a, a free download today, uh, 20 successful tips for visibility. So if you can maybe tell our audience, because I know we just scratched the surface on your knowledge and, and what you do, if you can maybe tell the audience where they can where they can pick that up and also how I know there's some people listening to this right now that they're 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 in the market, they're looking, they have brands, they're looking at how to get them to that next level in terms of visibility and, and PR and otherwise. Um like how do people also connect with you and your team in general? Well, first I'd like to say I have a huge surprise for you and the listeners. It's primarily our listeners here. I know that I have taken a bit of a dive here and given a lot of great information. And in my mind just now, I got the feeling there's a lot of people, like you just said, that want to know more. So here is my suggestion to email me at Lynette, L-Y-N-E-T-T-E, -E, at firetalkerpr.com. S like fire, I-R-E, T like talk, A-L-K-E-R-P-R -E for publicrelations.com and say, I want to talk. And then we will get scheduled a 15-minute get-to-know-you session and see if we need to have additional meetings and really dive deep. And I want to give that to your listeners complimentary. And the other, and the other thing in how they can get that free download is to also email me and in the subject line say, I want my download. And I'll make sure that everyone gets what they need. Oh, that's awesome. Well, Lynette, um, been really a, a pleasure having you on the show. You're definitely an expert in your field and helping many, many entrepreneurs and business owners and, and authors out there that um, that need visibility and that want to get in front of the media. So you're obviously doing that day in and day out. So thank you for keeping that going. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. 
Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you learned a lot. If you did, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to also email Lynette. I mean, it's going to be great. She's got she's doing some great work out there. Definitely want you to, to benefit from that knowledge. And uh, Lynette, thanks again for coming on the show. It has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. And I really appreciated it. And everyone can reach me with my uh, tag, Firetalker PR.